I haven't made a video for quite a while, uh, at least nearly two months, so I thought I'd better do one and just give you a bit of an update. Alright, so the, what, what's happened so far, I have taken this to one car show, the Mini's in the Gong, so you would have saw, or it, that's in my videos there, it's just a few photos of the day. Um, the other thing I've got done since then is actually got the vehicle registered. So in New South Wales, they have a um, historic vehicle scheme, so there's the, the new plate. So the way that works, um, you, you do pay less for your insurance and registration to get the car on the road, but you are limited to the number of days you can use it. So you can use it for all club events, um, just if you want to use it for any personal reasons or maintenance, you've got 60 days a year to do that and there's a logbook that you need to fill in. So I've um, picked up this compression testing kit from, this is from Super Cheap Auto in Australia and I think it was around about $35 or something like that, it was on special so I thought I'd get it just to um, give the, um, the cylinders each a compression test just to see what's happening there I'll just just to get a baseline value so if I ever need to test it again I can sort of see if there's been any change but so far it is running all right um, one of the issues is the synchro on second gear is a bit um, well, it grinds a little bit so I, I don't know so it could just be the oil isn't filled up enough or maybe I'm not <clears throat> not driving it correctly um, but it does occasionally grind so I need to get that sorted out because um, it seems strange that someone would go the effort of um, putting together the short motor and not bothering to check the synchros, but who knows, that maybe that's what's happened. Alright, let's have a play with this compression kit. Okay, so there's a few things that I need to do first. Is The first one is just label these, so one, two, three, and four, because they're all going to be disconnected. And the other thing I need to disconnect as well is the lead coming from the coil. I'll disconnect that as well. The order, we're going to test them. We'll just go one, two, three, and four. So each of these I need to take the spark plug out, turn the engine over, and then the gauge will read the pressure. So let me get the spanner for that. Alright, so what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to test all the cylinder compression but I'm going to do it while the engine's cold. Now obviously you're meant to do it when the engine's warmed up and the other factor as well is once the engine's warmed, take out all the plugs that way the engine can turn over easier. But what I'm going to do for the first test, I'm just going to do it when the engine's cold and with all the other plugs in and just see what results I get. Then I'll give the car a run then um, test it when the engine's warm. Alright, let's have a look at that spark plug. It's not oily, it's a bit white on top, but I think that's how it's meant to be. As long as it's not oily, I guess, that's fine. Okay, and I'll just show you the actual kit. That is what I've got here. So there's a few different attachments depending on what size. Um, plug hole you have so I'll just put that together you don't need to watch me do that okay let's just test cylinder number one and just see what the compression is so the needle should move and then to reset it you press that in so let's give that a try So we've got um, a little bit under 9, oh, I'm thinking it should be at least 11, so, and it could be the case that this isn't screwed in tight enough, so let me just tighten that up, reset that, and try again, I mean, it could, could be worse, could, be, could, could just show 0, and that would be annoying.
Okay, so yeah, it's about nine. Um, I think that's a bit lower, low compared to what I think it should be. I've seen other people do these tests and they get about 11. All right, so let's try cylinder number two. All right, so I'll just, I've taken that plug out. That, again, this is number two. Um, the plug looks the same as the first one, so a little bit of white on there, but it's not oily. Okay, so let's plug the gauge in. All right, let's check out cylinder number two, number two now. All right, so it's similar reading, it's a bit before nine. So we'll just test the others and then see how we go. Okay, so again, cylinder number three, spark plug, looks the same not oily seems all right and i've been shining the torch in the other two or oh, the other cylinders too it just seems all right in there you can see a bit of carbon on the top of the cylinder but the walls seem okay there's no um milkiness of um coolant getting in there so hopefully that seems all right okay so let's get this hose in there all right attach the gauge All right, and I, I don't know if it's just the other two I'm uh, was saying the wrong thing, but I'm looking at the the red gauge here. So it was a bit before nine um, bar. I think I said PSI, I meant bar. PSI is around the outside. So it's uh, about 125, a bit below, maybe 120 PSI. So a little bit before nine bar. So let's try cylinder number three and see what that gets up to. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the same as the others. So about 120 PSI or 9 bar. Alright, let's try the last cylinder. Okay, yeah, the last spark plug, same as the others. I'll just um, have a look inside there. Seems reasonably clean, like the others, a bit of carbon on the top of the um, piston head. Okay, uh, let's give this one a go. I mean, like, the accuracy of this gauge, this gauge only costs, like, $30, so it might be slightly better than the, the cheap ones you get off eBay for 20 Australian dollars or even less in America or England. And, of course, there could be issues here where things aren't 100% tight. Okay, so let's try cylinder number four. Okay, so again, it's pretty much the same as the other two. It's maybe slightly less in that one. But uh, it's not zero, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. And the actual engine runs all right. Um, there are a few other issues I'll talk about another time. Um, but I'll um, undo this and put that back together. The other... One of the other issues is, um, and I don't know whether it's a feature that minis are meant to have, but this um, cork gasket, it's just constantly weeping oil. Um, the oil I'm using, it's um, a 20W50, it is a mineral oil, but it's not the Penrite brand that a lot of people suggest to use. So I'm assuming it would, shouldn't make any difference, but 
it could be the type of gasket it might be like I've tried tightening these down um, and it still weeps oil so maybe it's a, a feature that it's meant to be dripping down to keep your engine from rusting but yeah, I have actually noticed a few other cars do that but only some do that okay so I've taken it out for a, a nice run I think I did about five kilometers in it and it's running okay I'm, I'm noticing now that the the valve um, tap rockers are tapping a bit so that's the next thing I'll have to get sorted but anyway what I want to do now is take off the high tension leads um, take out the spark plugs um, connect up the gauge again and then just see what the compression is now when the engine is warm. Okay, so let's just test the compression on cylinder number one. So I've disconnected the um, the lead from the coil as well um, you're meant to have the throttle open so I'll do that as well that time we sort of reached up to 125 psi I, I would thought that would have been higher but it could actually even just be this gauge it's just not a quality gauge so we'll try another cylinder and just see So again, we're getting the same sort of reading, 125 PSI or 9 bar. Okay, again, the same sort of reading. Okay, so again, the same sort of reading. 9 bar, 125 PSI. So I'm going to just start putting that back together. So the question is, um, if the compression is correct, because like I've looked online, lot, some people get like 180 PSI, um, like 11 bar. So the question is, if the compression is, if it is losing compression, why would it be the same amount in all of them? So that sort of leads me to think that it's possible that the gauge is faulty. Yeah, so I might leave it there. I'll have a think about it. Um, any comments or suggestions uh, are welcome. The car runs fine, like it even climbs hills nicely. So I don't think it's um, is the, the the pressure is wrong, but I don't know. It could be right because never owning owned one of these before, so I don't know. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos.